We're going to discuss the Giants. The American football team? No, the Giants and the Earth. That's from the Bible. Surely it means the Giants and the land. So what do you think about Philippians 2.16 and those under the Earth? People living in Australia? No, Dinkum. It obviously means giants and men living under the earth. Obviously? In the days of Noah, there were giants. Genesis 6-3, and the sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful and took them to be wives. Their children were the giants in the earth. Here is a belt. So that's where Gates comes from. Of course, only people who read the author's stories would get that one. Anyway, because there were giants in Noah's day, there were giants in our day. We know we fought against them. Uh, I know, but it's for the benefit of those on Earth. But we are in Victorian times. The viewers are near the time of the giants. So let this be a warning to them. The giants are going to come up onto the earth in their time. Surely we have more important things to do. Well, we could finish participating in the Twelve Days of Michaelmas. That's where we are now, halfway through the story. So let's refresh our memory. We've landed on a planetoid somewhere in the science fiction dimension and the planet of Thera. As we strolled along... Surely bumbled along. Whatever. When we strolled along, we saw this 13-tiered, 13-foot pyramid, and we started to discuss the Illuminati, secret societies, vampires, werewolves, and things like that. Did we get to the bit where we saw the eye looking around and the goblin piloting it? No. Ah, this must be after the explanations, but before the meeting. I suppose so. It gives us an interesting background to film this three-minute video against. Is that so the author can get some more watch time for his YouTube channel? Um, maybe. Now, where were we? When? I mean in this conversation. Giants are going to come up out of the earth, on the earth, from their growth chamber. Don't forget super soldiers. Who can? Anyway, they will come onto the earth to fight against man and eat him like cattle. I'm glad we're not there. I don't fancy being eaten by a giant, especially not in this underwear. Fee, fi, fo, fum, I saw the blood of an Englishman. That's a bind, isn't it? They can smell us better than dogs. Don't forget the brain weaves that can make humans come to pieces. A bit like one of your mother-in-law's battle cries, Sid. She's good for some things. Now we must tell the viewers how to deal with giants. Shoot them on the head, preferably through the eye socket, with a copper jacketed bullet. Stops them regenerating. Well, that seems to be it then. Shoot them in the head preferably through the eye socket, with a copper jacketed bullet, and then they can't regenerate. Aye, that's the right. Well, I think we've finished now, Sid. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, viewers. My name's Arthur, King of the Brits. This is Sid, he's a little titch. We're part of the Arth crew, you see, but here on Thera, both him and me. Also big man, seven foot tall, his name's Gumby. That's all, and Chatteris Plattington, not true. Rubber Sid and Arthur, another me and you. Oh, I didn't get a chance to say where the East Anglian Bombardiers and Grenadiers Special Operations Service. You fool!